Porn is your religion. And not until you truly understand this and admit this to yourself and stop putting pornography up on this pedestal will you truly be able to get out of the depths of this addiction and break free from this compulsive behavior that is keeping you shackled to the life of mediocrity? Hey guys, what's going on? Frank Rich here, CEO and founder of Rebuilt Recovery. And it is our mission to help men break free from the shackles of porn addiction through the power of faith and fitness. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there and also turn those post notifications on because we are dropping videos every single day now, Monday through Friday, I want to make sure you guys are notified when those new videos are released. You know, an interesting realization came up in one of our group coaching calls earlier this week. I'm really fortunate at the, at, at the current moment to be working with over 30 men, either in a group setting or in a one-on-one -on -one capacity. And this is something that one of the men brought to the table here in one of our group conversations. And it was a real breakthrough, not just for him, but for the entire group. And really for me, and, and, and obviously I'm able to pass this on and, and, and share this with you. But we're about midway through the program here and, and, and this certain individual, he had a real, real breakthrough and he realized that all the struggles, all the challenges, all the difficulties he was having up to this point were really false realizations that he was creating in his own mind. He had put pornography up on this pedestal and he had, he had put it in a position where he was giving over his power to it. And, and that's where the struggle was coming because it's like he had created this image, he had created this idol of this thing. But then when he really got clear on like what it was and what he was participating in, what he was consuming, he had this major breakthrough and he's like, it's just some videos on a computer screen. It's, 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 it's not even real. It's a false sense of reality. And I think the real breakthrough came there for him and, 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 and for the men as well on that group call. And it made me realize like, why are so many of you guys out there still struggling with this? Why every week do I hear from the same men? Why every week do I get the same comments on these videos, in my email inbox, in the Instagram DM? It's the same thing over and over and over again. Sir Frank, please help me. Sir, like, how do I do this? Da, da, da. Men, make a decision and change your life. You know, the Bible tells us in Proverbs, Proverbs 9, 10, that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. You guys are afraid of pornography. You guys are afraid of a life if you don't get 10 seconds of pleasure. You guys are afraid of something that isn't even real. Stop worshiping this thing. Take it off of the pedestal and look at it for what it really is. You consuming pornography is you sitting in front of a computer or you sitting in front of a laptop or you sitting in front of your phone in pixelated lights are creating an illusion of the female physique. Something that, yes, that is truly beautiful and magnificent in its real form. Appreciate beauty. Appreciate the female physique for the way in which it was created. I think that is something that we are meant to admire. We are meant to respect and honor. Not worship. There's probably some of you out there that are even watching pornography with the word worship in it. I know that for a fact. So zoom out here for a second. Why have you created this idol of this thing? Why have you projected pornography up on this pedestal and given over all of your power to it? For those of you out there that are believers that come here from a Christian background, You guys have the power living inside of you. And if you truly call yourself a believer, if you truly walk the Christian life, that means when you surrender yourself to God and you accept Jesus Christ into your life, all of your past transgressions, all of your past decisions are washed away. And you now have living inside of you the power of the Holy Spirit, the power that brought Jesus back from the dead. You don't think a little bit about that strength can help you just keep pornography out of your life? But no, you still want to give in to it. You still want to put pornography up on this pedestal. Like it's this great manifestation of this thing that's got massive power over to us. And as long as we continue to look at it like that way, 
then we've lost all of our power. And I'm not telling you that it needs to be your power, that it needs to be your will to break through this. But if you can't begin to look at pornography, what it, what it really is, then you're never going to be able to break free from it. You're never going to find real freedom. And then secondly, this is something that my great friend Elliot I saw uh, shared in a video very recently. It's this whole concept of worshiping these streaks. I talk a lot about NoFap here, guys. I'm not a fan of the ideology. I'm not a fan of the philosophy because I do believe that NoFap becomes a religion in and of itself. So if pornography is in your religion, NoFap becomes your religion because you identify with your streak. You identify with the amount of days that you can go without pornography. Who cares? Make a decision today. If you really wanted to remove pornography out of your life, I don't care if you go 10 days because if you if you fall back on day 11, then you didn't really want it. But we begin to identify and attach ourselves to the streak. How long can I go? And then when you break it and then when it falls and relapse because you're worshiping and you've put projected pornography way up on this pedestal, you're going to fall back. You're going to slip. You're going to relapse. But it's in that process of us worshiping everything about this no fat process of identifying with our streak that the minute that that breaks, now our identity has been shattered. Now we don't believe that we actually can achieve this. In the seventh step, in the seventh step guide to creating a life with pornography, without pornography, is to have belief. So if you've already gone into this, putting porn up on a pedestal and identifying with your streak of how many days you can go without pornography, then you don't truly believe in yourself. Because it's only the nofap, right, that is keeping you away from pornography. Man, I've said this a thousand times and I will say it a million more times until we've succeeded in our mission here. The only way to overcome your addiction to pornography is to become the man that can live a life without pornography. And if you're ready to take action, if you're ready to do something about your compulsive behavior, what I want to do, guys, I want to invite you to download our seven-step guide to living life without porn. It is the exact process and system that we have used with all of our students, all of our clients, all the members of our coaching programs here to help them identify what is actually in front, what is actually in their way. It's themselves, but then build a proactive plan we create accountability, begin to live in a state of gratitude, create a, de a deeper sense of meaning and purpose for your life, but then actually execute upon that plan and begin to experience what it means to live a poor and free life. So that's a seven step guide to living life without porn. Guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link it down there in the first pin comment below, but stop washing pornography. Stop putting it up on this pedestal. Stop identifying with your no fat streak. You are you. You are the man that God created you to be. Guys, I hope today's video helped you. I hope maybe brought a sense of inspiration to you, a sense of clarity on why you're continuing to struggle with this. If it did, guys, drop us a comment down there below. Listen, the biggest takeaway from today's video, download the seven-step guide, hit subscribe, turn on those post notifications. But Frank Christian, Rebuild Recover, I love you guys. I'll see you on the other side.